Hey, Michelle Schaefer here from michelleschaefer.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your own pinnable image quotes using a couple of different free websites online. So the first step to create your own pinnable image quote is to choose your quote. Quotegarden.com is a great resource for this. You can look through the quotes based on topic. So you choose a category and then choose a quote that you like that you want to share. And then you want to copy the quote and put it on your clipboard. Your next step is to choose a photo that you're going to pair the quote with. Morgfile.com is a site where you can find free images that are okay to use for your own projects. So you want to think of what kind of concept would go with a particular quote that you're going to be using and search for that. I've searched for a couple variations of flowers and I found an image I like. So my next step is to download this image. Once the image is saved, the next step is to take your quote and your image and combine them. You can do that using pixlr.com. It's spelled P-I-X-L-R dot com. You want to open the photo editor and we're going to start by uploading the photo into the program. So open image from computer. You want to browse to find your file and this will open the image. So the next step then is to just add your quote and you can paste it in here that you copied a moment ago and then you can adjust the size and the font that you want to use as well as the color. You'll want to add some line breaks into your quote. And space it the way you'd like. Another thing you may want to do is add your URL to the image you've just created. So you can see editing with this is fairly simple. This tool here will let you drag your text to where you want it. And the T tool, the A here, is what I used for text. Okay, so now I've got an image with a quote on it. And I may want to change the size. So let's see what the size is right now. That's really, really big. So I'm going to change it down to about 640 pixels wide. Oops! As you can see, a couple of things happened. My image scaled, and it looks really tiny now, and my text looks gigantic. I should have resized it first. Here's how to fix that, though. Let's go to View Actual Pixels. That shows you the real size. And then all I have to do is click here, and then I can add this, the size of the text to make it fit. That's just about right. And then I can use this tool here again to drag that where I want it. Then I'll do the same for this. It's also way too big. Okay. And then I'll drag that one back down here to the corner. One other quick effect that you may want to use, you can click the layer that you're editing right here. And under Layer, you can go to Layer Styles and add a shadow. So 
you know, that type of effect. You can also add a glow. And if you click on that, you can change the color of your glow. So you can see that kind of makes our text stand out a little more. And you can play with these to get the combination that you want. You can also do bold and italics in your text. And when you're happy with how you have it set up, your next step is to just save your image. First I'm going to copy my layer style and apply that to both layers. So now they match. Go to save. You can see it's set to JPEG. You can name it whatever you'd like. Click OK. And it will save the image to wherever you would like on your computer. So now that this is saved, the final step is to upload the image to Pinterest. You can see I'm already logged into Pinterest, so I'm going to go to Add and Upload an Image, Upload a Pin. So I'm going to choose my file. Here's my file. And then I can decide which board I want to put it on. And whether I want to share it on Facebook or Twitter, then I can pin it. Now here's an important step. When you upload a pin, it just says uploaded by user. So instead, we're going to edit this pin and put in a link here. Is I will link it to my site. Now I can click save. And it's from me. So that's how to create a pinnable quote image and share it on Pinterest.